fast enumeration is a technique relatively recent in Xcode and Objective-C. It's a technique that lets you easily iterate through a collection class. And the way in which you use it, and I'm going back to the same method that I've been using to write sample code in, is if you have a collection class such as an array, and I will use the new notation to put into it a string and perhaps a literal and perhaps an object. Close the bracket and I'll declare that object up here. Okay, now I have an array consisting of three objects an NS string, an NS number, and an ID, an unspecified type of object. And I can iterate through it in the following way. And you can see I write code sort of from the top level down. What I can do is this is a loop here, fast enumeration. I've declared this object, which is of type ID, and it is going to be set the first time through. This object will be set to an NS string. The second time through this loop, it'll be set to an NS number. And the third and last time through, it will be set to an object, which is a generic type of object. We don't know what kind it is. So here is the fastest way to enumerate or iterate through a collection that is ordered. You can do some other interesting things here. And if I happen to have an enumerator, which is a class, and it's exactly what you might think it is, I have in NSArray, I have a method called reverse object enumerator. And what it does is returns an enumerator that runs backwards through the NS array. So if I have that, and I will say my enumerator, and now I want to send the reverse object enumerator to the array. Remember, I am looking at NS array here. So I can come down here and copy this, paste it in here and close the brackets, put in a semicolon. So now I have a reverse object enumerator based on my array. And here in the fast enumerator, instead of saying I want the ID to go through my array in order, I can, instead of using my array directly, I can say in my enumerator, which is the reverse object enumerator, so the code here is going to be set to each object in turn from the end. So the first time through this enumerator, it will be set to this object. The second time through, this object will be set to the NS number. And the third time through, this object will be set to this NS string. So I can go forwards or backwards just by using either the array itself or a reverse object enumerator, which I can get by sending the reverse object enumerator to the array. And I can put any code that I want in here between the two brackets. So this is the fastest way of enumerating through a collection such as an array that's ordered.